Bugatti has gone to sea with the Nignette, a yacht exclusive as their cars, but they're not the only luxury brand to lend their name to floating luxury. Your fancy boat might impress at the yacht club, where the well-to-do know who's who when it comes to exclusive boats. But even in that exclusive world, nothing beats the brand name of the road's most worthy cars. Let's look at Bugatti's aquatic offering and some of the exclusive boats from sports car makers that join in on the high seas. A Tori Bugatti's storied brand has always been about excess. Even dating back to the 30s, the blue speed machines were not limited to just cars. A Tori designed a twin-engine racing plane called the Bugatti 100. Now under VW stewardship, the brand is branching out again from creating luxury speed machines by getting in the luxury boat business. The Nignette, designed with boatmaker Palmer Johnson, is the first of three coming boats from the luxury car brand, and it's heavy on luxury, featuring a champagne bar, fire pit, and jacuzzi. With a top speed of 44 knots, or roughly 50 miles per hour, it's hardly the speed demon that cars like the Chiron and Veyron are, but the visual DNA is all there. The Nignette also shares its road-going cousin's hefty price tag, selling for a staggering $4 million. Why would a high-end automaker get into high-end boat making? It comes down to how companies like Bugatti operate. While a Chiron will sell for millions of dollars, they're still a low-value manufacturer. Their parent company, Volkswagen, makes more money selling millions of Golfs than they do selling a half a dozen Chirons. But the cars are aspirational. They sell an ideal and a brand, and that brand can be lent to other luxury lifestyle items. It's through that licensing and lifestyle branding that the real money is made. Bugatti isn't the only one to take to the high seas for that lifestyle branding effect. Working with the Italian Sea Group, Lamborghini has recently introduced the awkwardly named Technomar for Lamborghini 63. The tractor maker turned supercar maker has now turned boat maker with a 3,945 horsepower luxury sport boat capable of 60 knots while carrying numerous Lamborghini styling cues. That includes a Lambo style instrument cluster that integrates navigation information into the mix. People looking for a charging bull that can skip across the waves will have to part with 3.4 million dollars with deliveries starting in 2021. Italian rival Ferrari is way ahead of Lamborghini when it comes to pieces of aquatic excess. All the way back to the early 1990s and the heady days of conspicuous consumption, that is purchasing for the sake of people seeing how much money you're spending, Ferrari teamed up with Riva to make a speedboat worthy of the Ferrari name. With two 390 horsepower V8s pushing the Ferrari racing red beast across the top of the water at 54 knots with the telltale Ferrari cues like Testarossa side rakes and accents. It even includes a spoiler up top. More sports than luxury, it lacks the fire pits and jacuzzis. With only a few amenities below deck, all the action is behind the deck. Only 40 Riva sports boats were made with examples fetching $200,000 when they pop up for auction now and then. This isn't the first time Ferrari went aquatic. In 1952, water-based speed demon Achille Castoldi was going for the 800kg speedboat record and figured the best way to do that was with a Ferrari engine. Instead of sending a regular Ferrari engine, Enzo sent him the engine that just won Ferrari's first F1 championship. Then they strapped a pair of superchargers to it, shattering the record in 1953, skimming over the surface at 150 miles an hour. That's one off-boat sold for $1 million in 2012. It's on sale again, but the price is ask only. When Jaguar finally gave in and joined the SUV world, the notorious sports and luxury car manufacturer wanted to prove they made a functional SUV. They showed it towing a boat. Not just any boat would do. So Jaguar teamed up with Yvonne Erdovicki Naval Architecture and Yacht Design Incorporated to cover one of their boats in Jaguar design cues. The gorgeous 20-foot speedboat is the ultimate excess because they designed the boat solely to be photographed with its new XF SUV, and that's it. Jaguar or the boat company never actually produced another one. In 2017, the Super Spy's favorite car maker teamed up with Quintessence Yachts and Mulder Design to make a distinctly Aston Martin 37-foot speedboat. Carrying six passengers and two crew, the boat's interior is entirely customizable. Outside, the boat contains all of the styling cures that make Aston Martin some of the most attractive cars on the road, including designer Merrick Reichman's use of the golden ratio, a math concept that is used in data and aesthetic calculations. This includes the usually array of fancy wood accents, carbon fiber, and sleek lines. Naturally, the brand of Bond wouldn't give us something with some sort of gadgetry, which in this case includes a top that you can control with your Apple Watch. Don't expect that app to be on the top download list. $1.6 million is the price of admission if you want to be like Bond on the Riviera.
Calling Mercedes-Benz the first anything is kind of redundant when it comes to the automobile when they're simply the first, the oldest manufacturer built around Carl Benz's internal combustion engine. Since then, they've enjoyed being the first aspirational luxury band, becoming synonymous with luxury and success. The three points of the Mercedes star was meant to signal the company's intent to take Carl's engine and conquer the land, sea, and air. Turns out land was where it was at for Mercedes-Benz. Over 100 years later, though, they've taken their engineering prowess back to the sea with the Mercedes Aero 460 Gran Turismo. A product of Mercedes-Benz design, the branding team that adds Mercedes-Benz luxury to already luxury items like private jets, the 460 Gran Turismo is meant to be an S-Class on the water. Luxury touches included tintable windows onto the lower decks and an extendable swim platform off the back. At 26 knots, it won't win any races, but at $1.7 million, like the name suggests, it's more about being a grand tour. Bargain car maker and automotive giant Toyota wanted to get into the luxury game but knew that the name Toyota didn't evoke the necessary exclusivity and luxury. So they created the Lexus badge. Lexus quickly evolved from well-appointed Camrys to legitimate luxury sedans and sports cars. Unlike their finicky Italian and British competition, underneath they were still reliable, usable Toyotas. To help drive home that luxury branding, Lexus has teamed up with Marquis Yachts of Wisconsin to make a 65-foot yacht with Lexus's L design philosophy. Its twin Volvo engines put out 1,350 horsepower, which pushes the yacht across the water at 31 knots. That's not as fast as others, but this is a proper yacht rather than a speedboat with some nice accommodations. That includes a stateroom as well as three others below deck and a careful maximizing of the space available. None of this comes at a Toyota price. For those looking for an LY650 that started shipping last October, they'll have to set aside $4.85 million. Just don't call it a Toyota. Unless you're a fan of rally racing of the past, Americans might not be familiar with the Italian brand Lancia. The Italian sports and luxury car maker made its name racing like many Italian brands, but its biggest success wasn't on pavement, but on old logging and country roads, challenging the World Rally Championship with the impressive Lancia Stratos, the last two-wheel drive car to win that championship. Since those heady days of Group B rally, Lancia has been a quiet brand available in Europe, but not entirely quiet. In 2011, they teamed up with SSCS Strider to make a sleek powerboat that made use of two 540 horsepower diesel engines from Fiat. That combo is good enough for 41 knots in a boat painted with martini racing colors, evoking their Group C prototype racer from the 1980s. Examples change hands now to the tune of around $350,000. If you look closely, you'll find the Porsche name on some places you wouldn't expect the Porsche name to be. Everything from the engine for Harley-Davidson's V-Rod to hard drives, Porsche design actually out-earned its luxury sports car parent company. Porsche's design parent is Studio FA Porsche, and they've teamed up with Dynamic to make the GTT 115. Just like the Lexus, this is a proper yacht with multiple levels and rooms. Its hybrid powertrain is capable of moving the GTT 115 through the water at 21 knots and is capable of crossing the Atlantic Ocean with five well-appointed staterooms to pass the time in. Porsche styling cues range from a Targa style top to bits from the brand's Mission E concept. It's a lot of boat and to buy one you'll need a lot of money, $16 million to be exact. Those are some of the crossover luxury car brands that have had a hand in making even more luxurious boats. Let us know your favorite in the comments and while you're there make sure to subscribe to The Richest for the latest videos in your inbox.